Hello everyone! Oh, pull that up again. And welcome to a new episode of Ramrod Recommends. As you can see, Ramrod is not here, but who needs a Ramrod? Um, we're going to be talking about a new film today. We saw it... What are you doing? Okay. What are you doing? Nothing. Are you recording? What's my fucking drink doing in here? I've been looking for this. Have you had some? What are you doing? I'm not filming it a Ramrod Recommends. It's recording! What are you doing? Nothing, babe. Fucking come on. Are you doing a new episode? Are you doing yeah. it without me? Look, come on. Come on, out, out. Puppy. It's Ramrod recommends. My God, what the fuck is that? Christ almighty. Turn it off. I need to sort this place out here. Why is the chair? I don't have the chair there. What's a fluffy chair? I don't get a fluffy chair. I'm sorry. You do Come get on, a sort it all chair. out here. Let's turn this off. So much sugar and orange juice. I did drink some before, by the way. Yeah, but it's like... There's like a little bottle like that. There's like 150 calories in it. You don't think, do you? It's just sugar, sugar, sugar. Sugar, sugar. Bugger sugar. Bugger sugar. Hello, everybody. Sorry about that shit before. She's getting a bit cheeky, this one, I think. Camera woman, editor, idea, come her up with her and better looking person. That is Zoe's primary job. Um... Sitting in the comfy, fluffy chair is my job when I talk about recommendations on Ramrod Recommends. So I first want to say thank you so much to everybody. Am I looking in the camera here? Where's the camera? There, thank you. <laughs> I'm looking over here. <laughs> I'm not drunk. I'm this one. So yeah, thank you. I've had some lovely feedback again off um, you good folk. Thanks for watching, sharing, liking and... You know, even taking the time to go and watch some of these movies, uh, you know, people have actually gone and watched La La Land. People have watched Creep again. And, you know, they're just finding them. Eth Eth oh, God, don't say it. Ethel and Ernest. Ethel and Ernest, not <laughs> Ethel Austin. Ethel and Ernest, they had some feedback on today. You know, uh, it's been brilliant so far. So thanks again, everyone. Uh, I've got another recommendation for you tonight. It's a film that came out last year, but only just like, say, like a couple of weeks ago it came out. But technically, it's last year. Um, it didn't get a very good reception from what I've read. Um, the critics kind of liked it, but I know people that have seen it and gone, oh, I didn't get it or I didn't like it or this, that and the other. It's Nocturnal Animals um, by Tom Ford. Now, Tom Ford isn't just a filmmaker and a screenwriter. Tom Ford, for anybody that doesn't know, is like a cultural icon. You can buy this guy's perfume in Debenham, just a lot of money, but you can buy Tom Ford perfume. Tom Ford used to work for Gucci and Yves Saint Laurent as like a, like a production manager or like develop idea developer or something amazing. So I could be, t I could turn out like Tom Ford. Anybody, yeah. Yeah, Tom Ford can do anything. This guy, you know, I think he's like in his early fifties now. He he's like an icon in the world of fashion. He turned it on its head. Um, he was known for that primarily and now he's like got a production company and he's this amazing filmmaker out of the blue. Um, so a few years back he made a movie called A Single Man with Colin Firth. Um, it was accused of being style over substance but I think is a great movie for this guy's first film for a fashion designer to make a film this good. Um, it was br Briefly it was a, a story about a, a homosexual man who lost his life partner and he was like trying to put some sort of purpose to his life again uh, it was a brilliantly made film it's stunning to look at and the acting was amazing colin firth was brilliant in it he's his second movie is nocturnal animals now you've probably seen the posters of amy adams every way amy adams can do no wrong she's in everything at the moment um amy adams plays a sort of um like high society, higher class, sort of cold type woman. Not who's Yoda. there? You go. Thank you. Thank you very much, Zoe. <laughs> she did a research, so we did. She's an art gallery owner, and she's in that world of sort of like arty types where nobody's really your friend, and everybody just goes to dinner parties and 
you know, there's no soul or no feeling anybody. She's with Army Hammer's character, who she's married. Army Hara, Hammer, very good looking, blonde hair guy from the social network and the Lone Ranger. Um, their marriage seems to be on the rocks. Um, and she gets a novel sent to her one day from her ex partner, husband? Ex husband. Yeah, I'd say husband. Her ex husband. Um, th- th- sorry? His name's Edward. Edward. So he knows more about this film than I do. Do you want to come Well, on? I tried. I tried. Mm. <laughs> mutinies on the cards <laughs> so she gets this novel and um it's dedicated it's dedicated <laughs> to to her that's a microphone sorry it's dedicated to her this novel so she sits down and starts to read it her husband's away on business and you know her marriage is pretty shit really so she starts reading this novel this is where i think the film loses a lot of its audience like when Pulp Fiction came out and people didn't get it because it time jumps and it tells loads of different stories. This is the, the main like story here is Amy Adams in this relationship with her husband and she gets a book from her ex and starts reading it and it's the film goes into the book. So it starts telling you the story of what she's reading, but in a visual way. This is what Tom Ford does so well. He's a visualist. Then we meet Jake Gyllenhaal's character. Him and his wife and his daughter are driving through the desert at night, heading somewhere. Um, Again, it confuses some people this because Isla Fisher's character turns up as his wife in it. Now, remember, you're visualising this book. Are you with me so far? I'm making it sound a lot more complicated than it is, but it's not very complicated. Anyway, they they get attacked by a group of, you know, no good white trash. Um, Aaron Taylor Johnson is kind of their leader. Now, this is... I really like Aaron Taylor Johnson. He doesn't get a good rep, really. He was kick-ass. Um, he was in a great Oliver Stone movie called Savages as well. He plays a real psycho, hillbilly-type, hills of eyes bastard in this. He's excellent in this movie. Um, the whole novel is kind of like a, a metaphor for her ex-husband's pain at what happened in their relationship. Now, again, with Ramrod Recommends, we don't want to spoil anything for you because we're recommending the movie. We're not we're not reviewing it or analysing it as such. I want you to see Nocturnal Animals based on the fact that you've got one of the best casts all year. Amy Adams, again, is brilliant. Gyllenhaal, oh my God, can he do any wrong? For God's sake, he's, he's so versatile. You believe Jake Gyllenhaal in Southpaw was the hardest bastard on the planet. In this, you believe he's just the nice guy, a dad who, you know, he's like Dustin Hoffman in Straw Dogs. He hasn't got a lot about him. He's not very good at fighting a fight. Um, Michael Shannon turns up in it as a sheriff who helps Jake Gyllenhaal's character with these psychos. Um, It's real hard to talk about it without spoiling it too much for it, but the film does jump around in time because she will, like, get to a really horrifying part of this book she's reading. But we're watching it, if you get me. And then she'll slam the book shut because she can't take it anymore. It's stirring up a lot of past emotions for you. So then you'll come back to, like, the present, where it's Amy Adams and her shitty husband. But then we get flashbacks to her real relationship with her ex-husband, played by Jake Gyllenhaal. I mean, if you've got the stomach for it and the mind for it, this film is absolutely first class. And again, because it's Tom Ford, he's been accused of style over substance where it looks really good, but he's not very good at telling the story. I think that's absolute shite. I think he tells the story brilliantly. I think it's... It's a very, very underrated film. It's a thriller, if you're looking for what genre to put it under. It, I mean, it churned our stomachs, didn't it, when we watched it. The, the st- we were on the edge of our seats, weren't oh, we? Oh, God. I mean, it, don't get me wrong, It is. there's got some nasty stuff in this film. We wanted it to end. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was stomach churning. And, and I'll hold my hands up and I'll say, you know, I'd like to shake, shake Tom Ford's hand just for the, the man he is. But for the filmmaker he is as well, wow. I, I think he can just go from strength to strength. The way he constructs the story in this and he puts all the pieces together and the, the 
kicker he gives you at the end as well is worth staying for. Um, Nocturnal Animals should be out on Blu-ray soon. You can watch it on the internet through Ways and Means. Um, it's gone from the cinemas now, but I yeah, honestly, I really think people who read reviews and critics' reviews just put them to one side with this. I think you should take it for what it is, which is a really well-made film. If you love Jake Gyllenhaal, Amy Adams is brilliant in it. Michael Shannon. I mean, this guy can steal any movie, but nobody really knows Michael Shannon. He's, he's a character actor. He was Zod in the last Superman movie. There you go. Popcorn fans. He was Zod. This is a great movie. You even get to see Aaron Taylor Johnson start bollock naked wiping his ass on an outside toilet, which is worth anybody's money. Because he's a beautiful boy. Jake also gets naked. we got naked Jake. And, you know, everybody loves a bit of John and all. Jake the Nake. Jake, Jake the Snake. Jake, is he Jake, Jake the, the Snake? No, Jake the Nake. Yeah, but is he Jake the Snake? Oh, Do you know what I'm saying? Didn't show us that bit. But I, I remember you pausing it quite a bit in one bit. Remember the long times you paused it to mm. see? Anyway, but that's it. Nocturnal Animals is a big, big recommendation for you. Um, if you would like to see Zoe review a movie, which we, we have had a few people actually say they want to see more Zoe. It's I mean, there's a lot of sweaty older men, I think, that have been asking. But um, no, seriously, if you want to see more Zoe, give us a comment. She can do a review. Maybe she could do like a video can? about hair no. or, so, you know, stuff like that. Drinking other people's pop. Um, eating celebrations from ball. Um, I, you brought them up to me. Where are they? I binned them. Where are the sweeties? I binned them. I want sweeties. I haven't binned them. They're under there. No? I don't eat them. Let's just throw them in the bin. So thanks for watching anyway. This them. this was a bit of a hard one to recommend. Not hard one to recommend, but a hard one to talk about. Because there's a lot going on in Nocturnal Animals. No think spoilers. Should... No, we don't, we don't do spoilers. I could tell you so much and ruin this movie for you. But If I you do want, want spoiler videos, we will... Title them as spoilers. Spoilerific. But if you want us to do some spoiler yeah. videos, then we will. So people can know. either watch them or I, not. I'm not we a fan of know. a spoiler. No. See, I, if somebody's recommending a film to me, I want them to, them to tell me... <laughs> <laughs> I want them to wind you. I need a drink. <laughs> I want them to tell me, is it good? Who's in it? Is it scary? Is it whatever? So I think I must take the opportunity to thank everybody once again. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share yourself some comments. You're all so quiet. Give us a comment. Just tell me if you want to see me in a different t-shirt, maybe a shade of blue next time, something like that. Breathe. <laughs> we didn't sleep as much oh, today. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. I'll see you next time for another recommendation. Bye. Babe, mm -hmm. where's the doll gone? <gasps> I don't like it. Lighting! Oh, it's creepy! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.